Excuse me, do you know Stormson? Have you seen him anywhere? Yeah, I met him. Do you know where he is now? No, I don't. He was supposed to meet me, but Oren said he'd left with two guys just before I got there. I haven't been able to find him since. Who did he leave with? Oren didn't say, which is strange. He was really evasive, and it's not as if he wouldn't know. Oren knows everyone in Goliath. Could Stormson have left with outsiders? I'd have heard if there were more outsiders here. Everyone talks about incomers, and Oren would have said something for sure. Then the men were berserkers. But if they were from Goliath, then why didn't Oren say who they were? Maybe he was told not to. Angrim. He is the only one who could scare Oren into staying silent about something. Stormson must have been arrested. If he's alive, I will find Stormson for you. Would you speak to Angram? He must know what's happened. Okay, I'll speak to Angram. Be careful. Angram believes in the law more than he does in people. If he thinks the laws have been broken, he won't like anyone questioning him. I can take care of myself. Can you think why Angram would have Stormson arrested? Stormson spoke out against the law. He thought we were losing the war, that we needed to change what we were doing if we were going to stand up to the Alps. Change what? Change how? I don't know. He asked me to go with him to look for supplies. I assumed he meant medical supplies, but do you think because I said I wouldn't that he asked someone else to go with him? Maybe. And maybe he asked the wrong person. You should put that away. Technology will get you into trouble here. is Stormson of yours. Do you know what happened to him? He was arrested, questioned, and sentenced. There was no doubting his guilt. He had spoken his thoughts quite freely and admitted that he was planning to break the law. What crime did Stormson commit? He had fallen under the spell of technology. He had the deluded idea that we should give up magic and take up guns. Why not use both? Give up studying magic to fight an arms race we can't win? Commit ourselves to the use of pure elex, forbidden by Amrek and the Pilgrim? The Pilgrim has committed us to finding a way to win this war with magic. To spread the lie of technology at such a time is treason. You had Stormson executed. You think our laws are that harsh? He had only spoken against our ways. He was yet to break the law. So he's still alive. The law is clear. Such weapons are forbidden. Stormson knew that, and he made his choice. Now, the law has been served. He has been exiled to the valley. A lenient sentence, to send him back to the place he loves. Heed the laws. That's all we ask.
Berserkers were killed with energy weapons. This looks like the work of clerics. escorting him to exile. They're dead. I show mercy and good men die. So be it. Now his crime is more than words, and his sentence becomes the harsher. Let his death pay for the blood that was spilled. Find someone else for your dirty work. You think his life matters more than the warriors who were guarding him? They were loyal. This isn't revenge I'm asking for. It's justice. This isn't my fight. All I ask for is justice. Kill this traitor and you will be rewarded. And the men he killed were no fools. May justice give you the strength for this task. Good luck to you. Why are you playing around with that tech here? You must know it's banned.
looking for it. There, warn him that Angrin will keep searching for him. He might not be able to return to Goliath, but please tell him he will always have at least one friend in Goliath. Do you know where he might have fled to? If Angrim has search parties out, Stormson might have gone to the clerics. He was always fascinated by their technology. Take that tech to the pit. It should be disposed of. allow yourselves to be led astray by the temptations of Elix. And so, another stray comes to seek safety in the arms of Kalan. Welcome to the Horde, the stronghold of the clerics. Your presence here can only mean that Kalan's light shines upon you. Open yourself to this opportunity. Give yourself over to the teachings of Kalan. 
Not interested. Then you turn your back not only on Kalan, but on your own future. You should learn what Kalan offers all of us. Then I'm sure you will make the correct decision. Who are you? I am Oswald. When Brother Rainer found me, I was just a wretched pile of misery. I was blind to who I could be. Reyna built me up, gave purpose to my life. Now, I'm spreading the teachings that saved me from destroying myself, in hope that those words can be the salvation of others, that they can save all of Magalai. So I invite you to stay here and contemplate with us, brother. Tell me more about Kalan. Before the comet burned the face of Magalan, the prophet Arvid foresaw the danger. He received the teachings of Kalan in whispers and tried to warn the people of Magalan of the horror that was to come. They must reject the distractions of the world and give themselves over to the pursuit of knowledge. Each must seek the purity of knowledge. Each must seek out the strongest, the fittest, the brightest. And so, Kalan came to the people and promised if they did this, if they worked together to follow the path to the infinite skies, then he would save them from the horror that was to come. But they would not listen. And so, the comet destroyed the civilization that was here on Magalan. Now, if we are to survive the dangers that are yet to come, we must listen to the words of Kalan and hear his wisdom. Only the pure will be taken up into the infinite skies. Only under the infinite skies will we truly see all. We must trust in Kalan. Where is Kalan supposed to take you? Up to the infinite skies. To where knowledge counts above all. There, we will truly see the universe as it is. The path to enlightenment is difficult, and only those who are worthy will receive Kalan's blessing. Look inside yourself, and take my words to heart. May they be a guide in the times to come. Only those with a pure body, a focused mind, and a strong spirit will be saved by Kalan. see from that look. Angrim sent you, didn't he? How did you get here from Adan? Look around you. That should give you a clue. As we left Goliath, we ran into a group of clerics. The guards, the ones Angrim sent to kill me, decided to pick a fight. They lost. The clerics saw I was a prisoner and gave me a choice. Fight, leave and be free, or come and join them. A choice. An actual, real choice. Not like Angrim. And so I'm here. And so now you found me. And so what happens now? Engram wants you dead, but I'll let you live. You travel half the world and you let me live? How can I trust you? You'd prefer it if I just killed you. Now you do sound like you've come from Angram. No, I'll live. Now I finally got a chance to. But if you do go back to Goliath, tell Akira I'm doing all right. And if she can ever tear herself from her plants, she knows where to find me. I'll make 
sure she gets your message. Thanks. You know, I thought Angrim would send someone after me, but there's no way I thought that person would leave me alive. It seems not everyone in Goliad is an asshole. If you find Akira, tell her she should give you my old things. I'm not going back there, so you might as well have them. Take them as thanks. Stormson is alive and well. Where is he? The clerics helped him escape. Then he really won't be able to return here. I hope he finds peace with them. Stormson can't return. He said I could have his things. Well, he didn't own much, and most of it was taken by Angram's men. I did find a few shards he had stashed away. Here, take them as thanks for your news. It's like a vid doc come true. When the world will end, when comets attack, 20 more ways Magellan will end. I told them the government was hiding something. They're always hiding something. I bet you one of them is behind us. Some political shit gone crazy or something. 